talking yeah. about an all inclusive economy when Bruh. when we know who's the disenfranchised nah. demographic yeah, and, and and all you keep talking about is jobs 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 ne mm, and boss. when now when you mm, keep saying jobs say, boss, mm. and you keep saying jobs 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 i'm just hearing slavery slavery <laughs> slavery yeah yeah <laughs> For real, bro. I'm just saying slavery, slavery, for, for slavery. Real. Let's create as let's as, create as, as many, many workers slaves. as you're possible cooking, yeah. for yeah, these people. Yeah, yeah. Cooking, also, yeah, let's just yeah. keep mm. giving them workers yeah. mm. so and that they can keep yep. looting mm. and extracting yep. wealth yep. from our country. You, in fact, in fact, when we are going back to when when you, yeah, was Ilusha, about like one of the things is that you never hear a country that you never hear a party that says how to reconfigure South Africa to the way that it reflects the natives, right? Mm. So, for example, when I'm saying to you, it can be that the 80% of the economy is centered between Joburg, Durban, and Cape Town. Cape Town. Mm. When you have nine provinces, right? You've got nine provinces, right? You have, people have to leave those provinces to come to top three universities. It's always UCT, it's UJ, it's University of Pretoria, right? Because you are not making what we deem as Dorpies or small towns cool enough to be able to have economies of their own that absorb people. When you go to Mafiking, the way Mafiking used to be like, it used to be a thriving economy with arts and everything, but everything is moving to Joburg. You 